Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? It's another swatch video. I've got some more, more of the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks, and I thought we could swatch them and talk about the shades that I've picked up recently. Now, if you missed my first swatch video, I'll have that linked over here, and I go into a little more detail about the brand, or about the formula, and about the finishes, and everything in the lineup, and what a huge shade range it is. But today, we're just gonna jump right in and swatch these beautiful lipsticks that I have picked up recently. Now these, your best bet is getting these at Walmart because they are the cheapest there, but you can't always get sales and buy one get one deals on Revlon at Ulta, uh, Walgreens, CVS, all, it, Revlon's sold like everywhere too, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I've got five more shades and we actually did not buy just mostly shades of brown this time, which the video pre prior to this one, of swatching it's mostly more kind of brownie shades a little more wearable shades so yeah I'm gonna start with what's on my lips right now I do have it with a lip liner I am wearing it with NYX suede matte lip liner in Los Angeles but this is the shade called let me find it rum raisin and let me just give you a little look at that this rum raisin so pretty and that's currently what's on the lips with lip liner, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show it to you without any lip liner or anything else on so we can just see what the shade looks like by itself. All right, um, by the way, this eye look is a video either coming up or already up. If it's up, it'll be linked in the eye. And I also did a video about full coverage foundation, which is what is on the face too, and that will be linked in the eye if I've uh, right up here in the corner if I've uh, posted it prior to this. So, all right, here's Rum Raisin. This is 135 Rum Raisin. This is a creme formula. All these are cremes today. And this is a really pretty, kind of dusty rose raisiny color, but it's not super dark. It's a lighter kind of raisin lipstick. A lot of times these tend to be a little bit on the darker side. This one's kind of light and very, very easy to wear for like every day with just about any look. It is such a versatile lipstick. Again, beautiful formula, easy application, comfortable on the lips. But here is Rum Raisin. I love the shade, it's just so nice. It's such an easy, easy lip color to go for and just a very classic finish. It the, Again, I'm going to say it again, these feel like high-end lipsticks. Next up is 130 Rose Velvet, which again, a cream formula. Very, very pretty, soft, muted, almost brownie rose color, like a rosewood shade. It's so pretty. Again, rum, rum raisin, and this one make glorious blushes as well. This is like rum raisin, but a little bit lighter. I mean, what a pretty shade. This is like Pillow Talk, but just a hair deeper and a little bit more, a little more depth to it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is 130 Rose Velvet, or is it Velvet Rose? Rose Velvet. Such, such a good shade. Just a beautiful, kind of your lips, but better color. Next up is a very fiery shade. This is called 809 Wild Saffron. This one is beautiful. This is just a glorious, glorious shade. I've done look centered around this look. Actually, I've done look centered around most of these lipsticks because they're that pretty. The color just is inspiring. So anyway, let's go ahead and pop this on because whew, she is something also beautiful blush. I mean, look at that. This is not the most beautiful, like fiery orange red. And it looks fantastic with a brown lip liner, by the way. <laughs> oh, this, this is like the perfect summer lip. 809 Wild Saffron. It's so fun, I love it. This is such a beautiful color. All right, now we're gonna d dive into a little bit of a vampire blippy with the shade 
777 Vampire Love. And you know, I bought this one for the name because it, 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 anyways, that's what it looks like. <laughs> How beautiful is that? It's so pretty. It is such a pretty deep berry lip. Okay. Mm -mm. That's like a wearable berry. There's a definitely like a mutedness to it. It's not super vibrant. It's just vampy and deep with that berry tone. Mm -hmm. This is my kind of berry lipstick. It's not fuchsia and it makes a pretty blush as well. I know these make fantastic blushes <laughs> for cream blushes. But anyways, this is 777 Vampire Love. And Vampire Love pairs up beautifully with a liner that's like Night Moth from MAC or Chestnut from MAC. Very pretty. All right, last shade here. This is 804 Rumberry. My lip lines are getting a little wonky, but <laughs> whatever. You get an idea of the lipstick anyway. So this is 804 Rumberry. This is like the perfect Mambi lip. And this definitely has a little more brown in it. It's a little, a step deeper than Vampire Love. Mm. It's so good, it's so good. And these shades are very easy to wear and touch up. So don't be afraid of the Vampy lips <laughs> from this line. They're very easy to touch up and perform beautifully with a lip liner. <laughs> I'm very happy with these shades that I picked up. I think they're so pretty. And mm. Mm -mm. Again, this is a traditional, very traditional cream formula lipstick. It's not long wearing or anything like that. There's nothing outside the box here. It's just a range that has a beautiful formula and 80 something shades to choose from. And they have multiple finishes within the range and it is noted on the bottom of the sticker if it is a cream or a pearl. And they also have matte ones. But I think those are in a separate little display at the store. And these are usually laid out by color in a row. Like they'll have the berries together, the brownie ones, the nudes, the pinks or whatever, the reds. They're usually really well organized within the within the displays. And just fun to uh, look through. And they're a great price point for uh, around the $5 mark at Walmart. And they are very, very accessible. They have them at like, I think I've gotten the majority of these at the neighborhood market Walmart. So yeah. All right. Let me know your thoughts down below of these lipsticks. Also, is there another lipstick range that you would like to see some swatches from? Let me know that down below because I love doing lip swatches. It's just, this is fun. I love lipstick. I love it. So yeah, let me know if there's like a lipstick range that you've been curious about that you want to see swatched out. Leave in the comments down below and I'll uh, investigate. Let me know all that down below and which shade did you like the best from this little selection. Comment that as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.